to my mommy's diaries. I created this channel so that I can capture my pregnancy journey. And through this journey, I wanted to share things that I learned, things that I used that helpful during this period of time. So if you like my video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss a new video that I put out every Saturday. So today is going to be a little bit emotional episode. We're going to talk about my early miscarriage. And as you see on the title, it is a chemical pregnancy. The reason I put this title on the video instead of, um, you know, miscarriage or whatever, because when it happened to me, I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. And I went on YouTube and I researched so many things about miscarriage and so many cases. I couldn't find anything about my case, my exact situation. And then, of course, I stumble upon this chemical pregnancy. And it was exactly like what I was experiencing at the time. So, but before we go into this sad story, I just want you to know that I am um, 19 weeks pregnant. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be 20 weeks this coming Friday. And then next Wednesday, we have our anatomy scan. So we get to see our baby again. And it's very exciting. Um, it's, so far, I've been in a really good pregnancy. Okay, so let's let's go to that. Let's go to that story. And if you are watching the story, either you are seeking for information or you are going through what I went through. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry for what's happening to you right now. And I can completely understand how you feeling right now, confused, and lost, and just, just don't know what to do because that's how I was. But I want you to know that it's going to be okay. You have a healthy body and you will have your healthy baby. And your baby is waiting to come back into your healthy baby, into your healthy body. And it's going to be great. It's going to be a great pregnancy when the time comes. So my story, my husband and I been married for seven years. And last year, we decided that we should have a baby. It was just the two of us for so long. And to be honest with you, I love the idea, just him and I, because we do everything together. We travel, we work out together. We're just really compatible and, and we're just really good for one another. Um, it wasn't like we're feeling like there's something missing on our life. It's, it's nothing like that. We just, we just think that it's time. It's time to bring in another member and it would be really fun to take this little one on adventure to go travel with us. We always love to travel the world. And so we decided to have a baby. But we want the baby to be born in 2024. And so we said, okay, we're going to start trying in May, the end of May. And we did. We started trying in May. And of course, you know, just like a lot of you, I have zero knowledge about ovulation. I don't even know how to get pregnant. I'm so surprised that I have never been pregnant because of all the, the stupid things that I think I know and it's not right. Um, anyway, so I started to do research, started to track my ovulation. And shortly after, in August, I was late on my period. 
And it was very strange because I was two weeks late. I took several pregnancy tests and it was negative. I wasn't pregnant. And then my husband had to leave to Italy for a business trip. And so he left on a Sunday evening on Monday. I just felt like, you know what? I have to take another pregnancy test. I just could not, I just couldn't, I just couldn't wait for this unknown. Like my period is not here and the other pregnancy test, I'm not pregnant, but what is it? I want to take it one more time to know for sure and just forget about it. And so it was, it was late in the evening. It was like 7 30, 8 PM. I took one with a really cheap strip on Amazon and I took the test and there was the control line and it was very faint second line. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, am I pregnant? And you know, I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of video and a lot of the ladies said, when you see the faint light, go get the digital one, the one that said pregnant or not pregnant. So of course, I literally ran to CVS. It's, little, it's like right across from my house. Get the digital test along with the other test, the first respond. I came home. I took two more tests. And the digital test said I was pregnant. It said pregnant. And the first respond, there were two lines. But the second line, obviously, very faint. And I was overjoyed because I was like a little bit in disbelief that, am I really pregnant? There's a little baby inside of me. And so I was standing in front of a mirror, looking at myself, being so happy. I could I, I couldn't tell my husband because he was sleeping. There's a time difference. Um, but I was planning to do something really cute, like put the pregnancy test in a box with some cute like baby booties or whatever. And then when I pick him up on Friday, I can let him open it and it's going to be this wonderful pregnancy announcement for him. So the next morning, I told my mom, I wrote a really cute note from the baby to my mom, asking my mom that if she's going to stay and take care of the baby and all this cute stuff. And she was so happy. She cried. We both cried. And so that was Tuesday. And of course, you know, I watch a lot of these pregnancy video and I see the lines getting darker and darker and darker because your, um, level supposed to increase every 24 supposed to be double every 24 48 hours so the line supposed to get darker every day so the next day i took another test probably two tests and there was still two lines but the second line was so faint very similar to the one last night. But, you know, I think nothing of it because obviously this is my first pregnancy. I have no knowledge. I don't know what it means. So I call my doctor right away. I messaged my doctor. I told my doctor I took six tests. I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. I got on a call with a nurse and it was very exciting. They told me to not take any more tests because I am definitely pregnant and it was very exciting. And then they scheduled me for another video call to get into the prenatal program of my um, healthcare provider. And so we did all of that. It was really like overjoy. On Wednesday, I woke up, took another test and there was two lines still, two lines. But the second line was so faint exact same with the first day and again i think nothing of it because at this point i have no knowledge of should the lines be getting darker should it you know 
I don't know, should it show anything differently? I don't know. So still happy, overjoyed, still haven't told my husband. On Thursday, I woke up happy, nervous, took another test, and there was only one line. And so I thought, okay, I just started a new prenatal vitamins and my pee was really different. So did to do something with my body? And then I got the digital test because, you know, a kid come in too. And I was going to take it on Friday to surprise my husband, but I took it and I waited and waited, and that two minutes seems like 20 years. And it finally said, not pregnant. I was so confused. So confused. And scared. And just, I think confused is the right word. Because it's like, what is going on? So I cry and I went downstairs and I told my mom and I continued to cry and she was like, oh, it's okay, you know, it could be the prenatal vitamin. Um, so I did more Google, I asked Dr. Google that what is in the prenatal vitamin that could affect the pregnancy test. So, um, and I found this thing where it said too much biotin in your prenatal vitamin can affect the pregnancy test, could give you a fall negative. And I thought, it got to be that because I was taking the prenatal vitamin and I was taking a hair vitamin at the same time. So I have too much biotin. I called my doctor and we had an appointment the next day on Friday to go and do like an ultrasound. Um, to see what's going on, right? So I was devastated, so sad. Next day, my husband came home and I told him what happened. And I think, and I think I was confused. I didn't know how to react to the situation. So when he came home, I literally told him exactly like this. I got pregnant on a Monday and I was no longer pregnant on a Thursday. How are you doing? And he was like, wait a minute. What, what did you just tell me? And I just couldn't repeat what I was saying. I was just crying, crying, crying. And we both didn't know how to deal with the situation because like, how do you deal with these kind of situation when something were, were presented in front of you and you thought that, oh my gosh, this is such a blessing and it's all mine. And then the next day, it's just gone. You came back and you looked for it and it's just gone. And um, yeah, so Friday afternoon, we went to this ultrasound and a doctor was doing an ultrasound looking inside my uterus and she couldn't find any sac. She couldn't find any egg that was laying in the wrong placement. And she told me that I need to go get a blood test today and then get another blood test 48 hours from now to see if my level has dropped um, the HGC level so when you're pregnant your body produces this chemical that the at-home test can pick up or any pregnancy test so that's called HCG and so I actually didn't do the blood test that day because I thought you know what I took the prenatal this morning, it's probably going to mess with the blood test. I'm, I'm going to come back tomorrow, which I should have done it that day, but I didn't. I came back the next day. 
to do the blood test and the result came back and my HCG level was at a three. So low, right? And 24, 48 hours later, I came back and do another blood test and my level was less than one. So I got a message from the doctor and the doctor said, it showed that I had an early miscarriage. And what we all call is a chemical pregnancy. That when you do have the conception, but it was not a very good process, so nothing was implanted into my uterus, that's why she couldn't find any sex, she couldn't find anything. I was devastated. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that the heaven would play this prank on me and it was just too surreal. Like, why? Why would you do this to me? Am I broken? Is my body not good enough? Am I not able to carry a baby? Will I be able to carry a healthy baby again? Those are the thinking that were going through my mind at the time. Right? At first you go into denial and then you blame and then you just feel sorry about yourself. And so I went home and physically I was okay after the doctor appointment. I feel fine. Like like nothing. I was I wasn't tired, I wasn't I was fine. And I wanted to go to work. And my mom told me to rest. So I took a rest. And you know, that's what we do. That's what women do. We don't know how to rest. We don't know how to deal with these type of scenario. The only thing we know is to work hard and to get up every time we fall and fight back. So that's what I thought I have to do. But my mom told me that no, you know, you need to rest. You need to lay down and you need to collect your thoughts and, uh, and just let it go. My husband didn't know how to deal with the situation either. We were both so confused. But apparently when I was resting and, you know, just I couldn't sleep, obviously. I was just looking up on my phone like, what is going on? You know, how often did this happen? And I believe it's happened a lot. Like, a lot. Every four, like four out of ten women have an early miscarriage or something like that. And we don't talk about it because that's what women do, right? We take care of everyone else. We try to take care of ourselves. We always try to look good and do our best. And then we hide everything that hurting us or all the pain away. So not enough people talk about it. That's why I'm making this video to maybe spread awareness that you're not alone and your body is not broken. It just happened. It just happened to a lot of us. And I don't, I still don't know what was the lesson in the experience. Because I do truly believe everything in life happened for a reason. Just like people in life, you meet everyone for a reason. I think maybe this experience was teaching me to know what it feels 
to have a little human inside of me and the joy because that short period of time from Monday to Wednesday, I was so happy. I was overjoyed. I, knowing someone, a little one is inside of me, it was such a wonderful feeling. And to be honest with you, before that event, my husband and I was kind of going back and forth on the idea of having a baby. We really want to have a baby, but we live in Silicon Valley and it's really expensive here. And we both have full-time jobs. My husband worked for a startup and he works a lot and I'm an entrepreneur. So I work 24 seven and we barely have time for one another let alone taking care of a baby. So it was just a lot of responsibility on both of us and a lifestyle going to change. So we weren't sure, like, is this a good idea to have a baby or not? But we liked the idea to have a baby. But I think after that event of my miscarriage, I know for sure, for sure, that we want to have a baby. We want this baby so bad. And, you know, my baby inside my belly, 19 weeks, and the baby can actually hear my voice. And I hope that the babies hear the story and know that I love, I love you. And thank you for being here. And you are welcome. And you're bringing so much joy the both of us so if you're going through the experience that i went through i'm so sorry but please take rest and take all the time you need to be sad to 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 drown in sorrow and to cry but i want you to know that you have a healthy body and your baby is coming to see you sooner than later. And I hope my story will help you feel better about the situation or learn about this pregnancy, chemical pregnancy. There wasn't anything that I can do to prevent that from happening. You know, the doctor told me our body is really smart. If there's something wrong with the fetus or something wrong with the egg, it would just let it go right away. So there wasn't any pills, any shot, any exercise, any food that I can eat, do, or ingest that would make the situation better, that would make the baby stay. So I hope you stay healthy, be good to yourself, plenty of rest, and I am hoping all the best for you, your future baby, your baby now, and your family. Thanks for listening.